Hello everybody. Uh, I'd like to continue to talk to you about solar energy. It's a resource that is plentiful. Uh, problems being storage of it, which has been quite expensive up till recently. But a major development or a breakthrough has occurred at Massachusetts Institute of Technology and I'll post some links uh, with this uh, video so you can have a look for yourself. Um, in storing the electricity, the energy, uh, in a reasonably cheap way. Um, so if I start by showing you this diagram which you can see which is obviously the shell of a house. It has um, cells on the roof to collect the, the electricity, solar panels which is quite um, a familiar scene these days. Uh, it runs the electricity down from the solar panels and during daytime you can run your electrical appliances and even plug your car in if it's an electric one to recharge it. Um, no problem there. Now then, the excess electricity with this process is used to run through a water tank and within that water tank it will separate hydrogen and oxygen gas which is stored on site as seen here. The way it does that is that the electricity uh, runs into an electrode and at normal daytime temperatures and atmospheric pressures so there's no extra cost uh, it's mixed with a catalyst of cobalt metal and phosphate and that will produce the two gases and as I say these gases are stored in these tanks here now of course at night time um, slightly different scenario we haven't got the electricity coming down from the solar panels but a release of the oxygen and hydrogen mixed in a fuel cell will produce electricity which again can run the house and plug your car in again if you've got an electric one and this would seem to be a breakthrough it's uh, seemed to be relatively cheap to do and could be a big bonus for properties um, with their fuel use and no CO2 emissions uh, they've also worked on another project if you go to the websites there where large office blocks with la you know with big windows as a lot of them have almost glass fronted in in, in and around london these days uh, what they're doing is they're having solar concentrators uh, put on the window panes to collect solar energy and one of the problems has been once you've collected it um, how to store it how to move it around the window well they've Manage to mix dyes, um, and these dyes can absorb and help the movement of this electricity. So now uh, they're able to collect the energy and store it on the edge of the windows in solar cells for collection and use to uh, power whatever you want to power, really. So that would seem another clever, good idea and use of solar energy which is in abundance. Okay, if you've got any thoughts about these things, um, you know any more, by all means leave a comment, and um, it's a way forward possibly. Thanks a lot, bye bye.